Good day to you all. I'm Dr. Arthur Chillo and it's a pleasure to be a part of the most splendid Steampunk Over Ether event. Myself and my esteemed colleague Professor Baz are proud to present some of our pointless creations for your delectation. Unfortunately the good professor is currently confined to his own laboratory so he cannot be with us today. Nevertheless the first creation I will demonstrate today is my superior malted milk biscuit field testing kit. Have you ever had the need to settle your honour in the field when only inferior malted milk biscuits can be found? Well fear not my friends, for with Dr Arthur Chillo's field test kit the consistency and quality of biscuits can easily be determined before engaging in a duel. This highly portable self-propelling steam powered mechanism is safe and easy to use. The steam engine utilises atmospheric pressure in the manner of Mr Newcomen and Captain Savory's great invention. I will now light the boiler and return to you with a demonstration once pressure has been raised. Thank you. Okay, so we've lit the boiler. Um, we have the machine running. It runs continuously um, all the time we want to be testing biscuits and that's so that we maintain a consistent um, and constant steady speed throughout the biscuit testing process. So what we have is in the small flask here is a cup of, in this case, builder's tea. It's the brew marshal that we would be using for, for the tea jewel. Um, it's kept warm um, so that we maintain a constant temperature during testing um, by the little spirit burner underneath. So uh, due to the current situation that we're in, uh, very difficult to get supplies of malted milk biscuits anyway because I'm sure that they're all being bought up because everyone's stressed to the hill and have got um, various issues to settle with each other. But nevertheless, um, we do have a resin replica of a biscuit um, which we'll use to demonstrate the machine with. So here's our malted milk biscuit. Um, first thing to do, machine's running, is to take the biscuit clamp, place the biscuit in the clamp, and then when we're ready to start testing, we wait until the machine's at the top of its stroke, release the little white catch, and it will dunk the biscuit in the brew marshal, and then you just observe the biscuit until you get a catastrophic failure, which typically for a malted milk takes three or four immersions. So this is not going to break because it's made of resin, but they say it's now collapsed. So there'd be a lot of slush in the bottom there and just a tiny piece of biscuit left in the clamp. So we remove that now. Pop that back on there. And then so we think how many immersions. So I lost count, I wasn't taking any notice, but all you need to do is count the number of balls in the little pot. And that tells us how many immersions there have been. So in this case, three immersions. So what you'll do is you'll take one biscuit from each um, batch, each packet of biscuits that you might be using for a duel or a contest, and um, test one or two biscuits from each packet and check that they're all of a consistent quality. So they all maintain the same number of immersions on the machine. Simplicity itself and an absolute must if you have a contest. So thank you for spending some time with me to understand how the um, field testing kit for malted milk biscuits works. I hope you're enlightened by that. And um, the next thing that we want to demonstrate to you is the automatic tea stirring machine, which is something I hope you'll agree would be hard to live without. Um, so we'll see you in a moment with that. Thank you very much.